Today, we find out something that we've been asking about a lot since the beginning of this game. Steel Rising is finally releasing their information about their DLC. Now, what I want to talk about today in this video is what is that DLC, who can play the DLC, what it means, but most importantly, what's going on with the DLC being locked behind a paywall. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe if you're already not in part of the channel, but most importantly, comment down below and let me know what your ideas are about this game. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into this video. So, the new DLC is titled Cagliostro's Secrets, and I'm probably going to mess that up a bunch during this video, but excuse me, which arrives actually in a, a few weeks on November 10th, which is pretty exciting. Now, they went ahead to add in what is going to be offered with this DLC. So, first, the main thing is the new level, Hoppy Town St. Louis, and you can see a piece of the image in the thumbnail that they released also is a thumbnail of this video but that it looks pretty good i mean granted it looks like the rest of the game but definitely for sure looks like you it immerses you just like the rest of the game does now within this one level it has this the basic main things that the rest of the levels have that they're going to be offering it has an entire new quest of the main story it's also adding five new weapons which is awesome there's a new boss there's gonna be several new enemies and variations of existing enemies there's going to be two new characters for us to interact with. But then to add, they're going to have a new side quest or new side quests, I should say, that are going to invite you to revisit certain different levels, which I think is awesome for a DLC to be able to kind of double down on some of the other areas. I wonder if there's going to be a new type of movement like we have that uh, will allow us to go back and do certain things in a game that we could not before. Now, in this quest, you'll find yourself embroiled in a gripping story involving the King's agent, the Comte de Cagliostro. No one will return unscathed after exploring Hapital St. Louis, a new area whose secrets have been hidden by Louis XVI. On this dark adventure where you must outwit Cagliostro's mesmer-inspired machinery, which uh, I'm so ready to see what that boss looks like, you will encounter new enemies and unlock new weapons and costumes. Are you ready to discover the shocking truth about the alchemy that powers the king's automatons? Which is pretty cool. It seems like this is where we're going to get the chance to see how, like, what the, what the magic is of the alchemy behind all of the king's different boss enemies, automatons, and whatnot. Which, if you're following the storyline, you'd be able to get, to, you'd be excited about that. Me, I'm not really following the storyline as much, but I think that's pretty cool to see. Now, who and how can we play the DLC? The expansion Cagliostro's secret becomes accessible once you have progressed past the Bastille. If you have not gotten to the Bastille exit level yet, you will not be able to access the DLC. You won't be able to access it at all. Whether that's in your first playthrough or if you've New Game Plus, in any game, you have to get past the Bastille in order to have access to it. Now, who can have access to it? If you purchase the Bestie Edition whenever you bought the game outright, you should be able to access that DLC directly as soon as the DLC is released come November 10th. For everyone else who did not purchase the Bestie Edition when they bought the game, you will have to individually purchase the DLC. So players who have reached the end game will be able to choose whether they want to load their end game save to be brought back to a previous spot in the game, which is likely going to be back to Versailles or Bastille, to play the new content instead of loading credits. So to be clear, you have one or two options once you get to the end game. Go backwards, which will then lose the progress you made in Versailles that you accounted for. You're going to have to play that level all over again. Or go ahead and let the credits load and then get into a new game and then again go all the way up to Bastille in order to access that DLC. This DLC patch will also bring various fixes and improvements to the game. Which is weird because they locked the DLC behind a paywall so I wonder if there's going to be a patch that's going to be coming on November 10th itself to the game that is going to go ahead and bring those fixes, which is likely it. And then the DLC content will just be purchasable. That's what I am assuming. Now here's what I wanna give my thoughts about 
the the DLC. I think the DLC is pretty pretty cool. Like I said before, I'm excited that they're bringing side quests that allow you to revisit certain levels. And to add to that, though, the story, like I said, I think the story is is going decent. I'm not following the story as much. However, do I feel like? Oh God, do I feel like it isn't worthy or necessary to purchase DLC? Now, I'm going to say yes, only because they sold an edition that that promised DLC, and that was the purpose of that edition. However, do I think that I would spend more, more money if I was not a creator on DLC for Still Rising if I'm on PC? No. I am still having horrible issues with with PC's performance, with the game's performance. So when it comes to purchasing DLC, I wouldn't. If I were a, you know, Steam player, I just, I would not at all. It is not worth, it. Is, the game is not worth putting my money into, so that way I can't, I can barely play, record, or stream this video game. I would not. However, there are others, and I, this is only my opinion, these are only my ideas, and I, don't let it, completely swayed you i want you to have your own ideas and pers and i want you to have your own ideas and opinions for yourself for your own gaming i just would not now i am excited for a new patch i am hoping i am hoping that this patch come november 10th is bringing some kind of pc performance and obviously when they release the patch notes i will be going through those with you guys and letting you guys know on all the different information Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this and you are looking forward to it, let me know in the comment section down below. If you've already given up on the game, because I know a lot of people have, please also let me know down below as well. And will this patch and DLC bring you back to the game? I would love to know. But anyway, guys, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that way you don't miss any of the videos and content that we make on the channel about all these different Souls games, RPGs, and hack and slashes. I would love to see you guys back in another video. But most importantly, guys, have a beautiful goddamn day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.